Welcome into the palace, all of my friends. And as always, we're going to be laying down drills with friends. Today is Saturday, the 13th of July, 2024. The time is 12.13 p.m. here in sunny blue sky, soon to be warm Salem, Oregon. How warm is it going to be today? Well, let's check. Hey Google, what's the high temperature today in Fahrenheit? Today in Salem, expect a high of 96 degrees Fahrenheit. Ooh. Hey Google, what's the current temperature in Fahrenheit? Currently in Salem, it's 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, 80. I got the door open still. <laughs> we got a kind of a well, we did have kind of a soft breeze going. Um, I don't have my coffee beside me. Um, I'm not going to turn on my um, candle warmer um, because I have the door open and we have a breeze. And I want that fresh air coming in. Um, so, anyway, with that said, um, yep, I'm back to the palace. And there's the artist. <clears throat> and where am I at on the canvas? I'm over in this corner right here. Going upward. <laughs> Slow progress, right? <laughs> okay, and I, I forgot to get the notebook out. Oh, brother. Okay, who am I joined? Connie, Beth, Angela, Laura, and Beth are doing this with me and also we have hope runs deep that's still going on with V, january beth alice v kim o and teresa she completed it so did i and then uh, this is a penson canvas and we also have candace kim and anita doing a penson uh, canvas all right, so with that said, um, this canvas has 67 colors with seven ABs. AB stands for Aurora Borealis, which are drills with a special effect coated on them, and they're great for creating extra shimmering effects on the diamond painting. Alrighty then, so let's get to our emails. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Oh boy, I gotta. I did um, email Rebecca, um, who gave me the box of goodies, uh, the candle wax and the canvases. So I hadn't heard from her for a while. She said she's just been super duper busy. So she's still there. She's. Um, just busy doing other things. You know, it's summertime. All right, Connie, finished. Took a month and a lot of mistakes, but it's done. It's got some crooked places, but hopefully I'll get better the more practice I have. I'm also sending one special drill canvas. So on to the next adventures. Okay, let's see what she's got. Oh my goodness. It is done. Oh, let me turn off my light. There we go. Oh my goodness. Wow. I am right here. I've done this part down here. <laughs> Oh my goodness, yes. Well, I don't know where your mistakes are, but it looks good to me. There's Big Ben. Oh. See, and I know this is not correct, but I'm saying this is horse guards down here. <laughs> 
Okay. Oh, look at this. Isn't that pretty? Let's look at those special drills. Oh, and what a sweet face. Oh, I really, really like that. Wow. You're going right along, girl. All right. Teresa. She, um, I was wondering who did the Countryside Cottage? Dominic Davison did that. And yes, I, you know, I just read this on um, Dreamer Designs website. You can press on this thing and it tells you all about the artist. And I did see Dominic Davison on there and I didn't know this. I mean, I don't know anything about him, but he was born in London and lives in Buckinghamshire, UK. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, and I was going through all their artists that they have and just looking, you know, and kind of reading through. It's really interesting. If you've ever been on Dreamer, um, just go at the bottom and press um, artist and it'll mm, tell you that. Okay, Teresa. Names are hard because they can be pronounced any way people like. LOL. My last name is Cooser. Uh -huh. It's pronounced Cooser. Will I remember that? Let's hope so. Cooser. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I remember that. All right. <laughs> Terry. Uh, whip update. Hi, Granny. Attached is an update photo on my current whip. Title is Lighthouse from Make Market from Michaels. My oldest granddaughter assisted with the photo by holding it up so that I can take a picture. I'm hoping to get this done by Sunday before I return to work. Thanks again for your whip and chats and tea time with Granny. Oh, that really turned out good. Or it's turning out good, I should say. That is beautiful. Look at all those pretty blues. Lots of shading in this. Turning out really well. Yeah, you're just about done. Wow, I like that. Patricia, she says, do you ever watch Rosemary and Time, Cozy Detective on BritBox? Yes, I watched it years ago. I love it. Um, I like it. Have a blessed day. Love your channel. Yeah. Yes. You know, I just love those cozy mysteries. Linda Schaefer. Hi, Granny. I'm going gonna need to be added to the silicone mat club and diamond painting of the month club hold on let me get my book out actually what i need to do is cover up this that i had i don't want to be um you know laying my book on it and sticking to the canvas all right let's get this out do, do, do. Okay, clubs. Alright, she says silicone mats. And that's going to be Linda S. And canvases are over here. Which are the monthly canvases. There we go. Okay. I am attaching my works in progress. I am working on the Pekingese diamond painting from China Mail. <laughs> uh, 
I love that. China mayo. <laughs> That's what we used to call it. Um, and the drills are crap. <laughs> Is there a class? <laughs> We got a new club. <laughs> oh, God. There we go. Okay. <laughs> okay, she says, is there a club for crappy drills? <laughs> yes, there is. All right. Crappy <laughs> drill club. And you're the first one on there. <laughs> the next is from Amazon and a really good canvas and drills. This is for a friend in remission. She is a fighter like a tiger. Last one is the Grand Canyon, a favorite vacation spot of ours. I love your list and all the entertainment while I'm painting. Thanks, Granny. Oh, you're L. Schaefer. Hold on. Where did I see that? I think that was... There it is, right there. All right, this is Linda. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna... I have so many friends, I, um... With secret names and whatnot. <laughs> All right, let's see. Linda, are you on any L shaper? You have to remind me of this stuff. To, there you are. Linda. Um, yeah, just remind me who you are. All right, are you on any other of our list here? I got that one. Good. <laughs> what else do we got here? All right. Do I have L Shaper on here? I guess you're not on that list. All right. All right. So let's look at her pictures. <laughs> Oh, you know what? That is really pretty. Grand Canyon. I've never been there. Oh, look at those blue eyes. <gasps> Woohoo! Gorgeous. Boy, that's a lot of black, white, and gray. Oh, Is that not adorbs? There's a silicone mat. Did I? Okay. I did get you on there. One day. I was doubting my memory. Oh my gosh, you made me chuckle. Thank you. Oh, and then she says, PPS. Oh wait, back up. Was there more to that one? Let me go down. Okay, I got all that. Okay, back. And then two, PPS. I also, one EWK from AliExpress and two originals that came from Amazon. I am waiting for the special funnel for these containers. I am hoping it will breaking me from all my spills. Okay, so do we have you on those? Let's see. Okay. 
Right, but you said you must be spilling drill, so um, I need to put you on the list. But you have to send me a picture to spill your drills. All righty. <clears throat> Anything else here? Um, Um, January, you told me not to say anything on here, and I kind of addressed that in the live today. Although, I need to address it because in case anybody else wants to get it. But, Dreamer has a new canvas out today. It's called She Shed. Try to say that fast three times. Um, yeah. Mm hmm. It's a must. I have to have it. <laughs> okay, so with that being said, let's go over to comments. Um. Any questions in here? Oh, Teresa Cooser. <laughs> she said, Millie, our Aussie girl, knows the sound of the UPS driver coming down the road. She puts her front feet up on the windowsill, barks, and then looks at me to let me know he is here. <laughs> You know, it's funny because we get a lot of traffic out here because it's a back road into little towns and then into Portland or, you know, blah, blah, blah. But it's also a farming road. and But a lot of trucks use this, you know, because then they don't have to go through town or on the freeway. Um, but what I'll tell you, Ellie knows the sound of a delivery truck, whether it's Amazon, UPS, you know, FedEx, and she is on it. She is at that door immediately. It's just, and they don't even, you know, they barely turn into the driveway. And we have a long driveway. So, yeah. They have good, good hearing. Um, Angel said, I have another cottage, so I will do that too. Thanks for sharing. All right, let's get to it. Let me see if I have you on the cottage. There we go. All right, get you on there. And it's, oh, Angela, I'm sorry. I can't even read him. Okay, got you on there. Um, okay. All righty. That is that. Now, <clears throat> okay. Uh, anything else to talk about here? So, I went on to Amazon and I did the BritBox subscription, the PBS Masterpiece subscription. I did the, um, let's see, I had the Kindle Unlimited and now the Audibles. All right, let me talk about the Audible. I need to take it over to my son because I cannot figure it out. So, yeah. Oh boy. So I need to do that today. I tried to do it yesterday and I don't know. I I just couldn't figure it out. So that's that. And I you know, because here's the deal. All right, there's my pen, but where's my diamond painting pen? Oh my gosh, what did I do? With that? I lost my pen. I got this one, which is for my um, 
Oh, there it is. It was right on there. <laughs> it's on here. Okay. So, all right. First of all, what am I doing? We don't know. Okay, so I'm doing the twos. Which is 159. Which is color... Light blue gray. All right. So... Let me get some wax. Alright. So, this morning, on V's Live, somebody, and I can't remember who it was, said, Oh, Joanne's, their diamond, um, or, I'm sorry, number two is the ones that we're doing. Um, Joanne's is having a sale on diamond paintings. And as soon as somebody said sale and diamond paintings, my ears perked up. So I immediately, during the live, I went over to Joanne's website. Mm-hmm. You need to go over there. At least 50% off. Um... So, yeah, I, I just might have an unboxing. So, I did that, and then of course I was on Dreamers. And they opened up, and then I got dressed, and I went to the farmer's market. Or, Saturday market, not farmer's market, Saturday market. Now, I have not been there in years. All right, it used to be you had a few vendors, you know, that were selling their homemade items or um, cheese. They sell different cheeses and have honey and um, breads pastries and stuff and then most of it was fruits and vegetables all right so I go down there and maybe six boots for fruits and vegetables it's not it's been taken over now by people selling uh, there's a lot of food booths and, you know, people selling just jams and jellies and breads and um, honey and, like I said, and then they've got, you know, a few that are selling their handmade items, but hardly any farmers are there selling fruits and vegetables. So I was looking for blackberries, watermelon, and cucumbers. All right, there were no watermelons. There were no cucumbers. Ugh. But I did buy some blueberries for my son and my two grandsons because they like blueberries and then I bought some raspberries and I bought some blackberries and then I shared them with my son and grandsons and uh, I was sweating like a pig because it was so warm out there and it's it's a pretty big place and uh, you know, I'm walking and walking and walking, trying to find the farmers, and of course they cleared out the other end, and there was hardly any, and yeah, it was a big disappointment to me, so I will not be going there again, so, yeah, so then I came home, and, uh, What have I been doing? Oh, I was with Ellie for a while, and 
Um, yeah, I've just been doing some odds and ends of stuff. I did, before I left, I had all my laundry done, put away, um, clean sheets back on the bed, and the other ones washed and all done. So I had nothing pressing for the rest of the day. Yay for me. Um, so when I this is uploading, Ellie and I are going to sit on the couch. I'm going to make some lunch. And... Um, yeah, we're going to watch some TV. So that'll be my day today. I am using my um, stand here. I don't know if you can see it or not right here. And so that's standing up on that, not laying down. You know, I didn't even look to see if you guys could see. What in the world am I doing? Oops, turn it that way. How about that? Um, yeah, this morning I finished up those two canvases. I got all that stuff put away and oh I got so much room on my desk right now. It is nice. I haven't seen the top of my desk in I don't know how long. So that is great. So, um, let's see, what else is going on? Yeah, I got a shower this morning, so I'm going to be nice and fresh, ready to go today. <laughs> It was supposed to be 95 today. Hey Google, what's the high temperature for tomorrow in Fahrenheit? In Salem tomorrow, expect a high of 93 degrees Fahrenheit. Ooh, we go down a couple degrees. Actually, it's not bad right now. Like I said, I've got the door open and it's kind of a soft breeze that's coming through, but I have the shade. So, I'll get shaved the rest of the day. Oh my gosh, it was so funny. Yesterday afternoon, my son got out the... He has a pool. Um, that he got for the boys a couple years ago. And um, it's, it's plastic. I guess, you know, it's the kind that you can fold up. But anyway, it, it's, it's a kind of a good size. But um, he was washing it all out yesterday afternoon and was getting it ready for them because they were coming over yesterday. And um, they've got these um, water balls they're a spongy and they go in the water and, and then you know you throw them to each other and they don't really hurt but anyway um ellie was over there helping him and uh, she was getting all wet and she was having a good time well he put those balls in water and ellie is a sneak she tries to sneak things. It's hilarious when she does it. But anyway, he put those balls in the water. And she just casually leans over and grabs one. And then she runs from him, his yard over to my yard. 
<laughs> and so then she's throwing around and you know just having a good time with this ball of course it's it's a sponge and so it's got a lot of water in it well apparently she, i mean she was throwing it in the air and then she was rolling on it and oh my gosh it was so funny well we were just laughing at her well then we got to talking about something and ellie just casually strolls back over to the pool and we're watching her and she thinks she's being casual about it you know she's sneaking and she grabbed one of the balls but it was green and she plops it back in the water and she you know nudging them around and whatnot and she wanted the red she only wanted the red ones so she got her a red one and she runs back over to my yard <laughs> oh my gosh she is such entertainment so funny and so she's a throwing it around and whatnot <laughs> So, so we're jibber jabbering again and watching her and, you know, and pretty soon it was out of water. So she just casually walks back over and just casually gets out a red ball and run back over again. Oh my gosh. It was so funny. Well, then my son has this football that's a sponge also and so while she was in my yard with the ball he got that and he threw it in the water and she saw it and she just casually strolls over <laughs> and she went over and grabbed that football out of the water and she comes running back with it oh my gosh so then I was trying to throw the balls back over into the pool hit my son he says oh you got a pretty good aim there I missed the pool oh my god I'm scared oh Oh my gosh. <laughs> my aim is not very good. So if I was aiming at my son, I'd probably get it into the pool. Although I did get one ball in, it threw it and it bounced and then it went into the pool. <laughs> oh. I'm going to have to get some video of Ellie. Ellie in the pool. Sneaking out those, those balls. Oh my gosh. So funny. She makes me laugh so much. And oh my gosh. Last night we went to bed. And... Uh, She's so funny. So, you know, I mean, she's 80 pounds, you know, but um, she jumped up on the bed and, oh my God, she just plopped right down beside me with her face in my face. <laughs> she was wanting to cuddle. <laughs> oh. She's such a great girl. I love her to death. She keeps me entertained. I could just teach her to bark at certain things. And not everything.
she's back on to her feeding schedule where she gets one can of dry food in the morning. We've been on this schedule for two days and then she gets the dry food, which um, I offer her one cup of dry food that stays in there. And if she eats it at lunchtime, then I'll give her another one at dinner time. Because she is not one that gobbles food. It can sit there all day. She'll eat when she's hungry. And, yeah, she doesn't gorge herself at all like I do sometimes. Um, yeah, but she can have two cups of her dry food a day. <coughs> and... Then she also gets the um, boiled chicken. So, okay, so she's been on this. This is kind of her old routine, but with, but new food, okay? So, um... Yeah, she had two good pony poops today, so I think we're on the road to recovery. And yesterday, I made her appointment for her dental cleaning, <coughs> which should be at their new facility. And I think it's like August 23rd. I think that's when it is. So, yeah. How long have I been on here? Probably long enough. All right. Well, we finished that color, so I'm going to let you go because I've jibber-jabbered probably long enough. And I'm getting hungry, so I'm going to have some lunch. And sit on the couch and see what's on Britbox or... PBS. I think I was watching a new show on PBS. I can't remember. I'll have to write this down. Um, but you know, I want to rewatch Perot. I want to rewatch Murder, um, Midsummer Murders. I want to. I mean, all these shows I've already seen. I still want to rewatch them. So. I'm going to have to subscribe probably to BritBox. Well, I don't know how long I can cancel and then get another special again. <laughs> so, anyway, i got to write down the shows that... All right, these are the shows I want to watch. <coughs> so, with that said... I do appreciate everybody stopping by. Make sure you give me comments and some emails. Show me your progress on laying down drills with friends. Whatever you're, you're uh, laying down drills on. So, uh, with that said, thanks for stopping by and keeping me company while I jibber-jabbered and did a little bit of diamond painting. And I will chat with you later.